Let's look at setting up work codes and client engagements. I'm going to go to set up utilities from the main menu here, main ribbon, and I'm going to go to work codes and engagements. This first screen here has, we've got some work codes in here. These are actually from a small accounting firm. They are sorted by chargeable first, then non-chargeable in the list, then by the code itself. So you've got the A's at the top of the list and so on. And for each code, you've got a brief, uh, a abbreviated code, if you will, whether it's chargeable or non-chargeable, a better description here. If it's associated with a rate template that we'll show here, if it's a taxable code, if you have tax sales tax issues, and also if it's been marked inactive, it cannot be used going forward, but that will maintain the history of it. And you can have uh, engagement association and non-chargeable class association here for non-chargeable. Also at the bottom here, for each code, you have an autofill for Superbill template uh, that that will show on the edit view transaction screen. It will also show on client statements if you're exposing the notes there. There's also an alternate work code description. This can be a paragraph here that if you're using the autofill function on super bills or the alternate descriptions on detail bills, that will appear instead of just the short work code description. And if you scroll down the list here, you will see the non-chargeable codes at the bottom of the screen here. You can add new codes here. You can delete a code by clicking the record selector, hitting delete, or you could actually click the record selector and drag to select a group of codes, hit delete to delete that group. You could delete all these codes out and put your own in if you want. The code itself can be up to five characters. It can be alphanumeric. There's also a print listing at the bottom of the screen here, bottom left, that will let you print a listing of the codes that you have set up. And that's handy, especially if you change from what you've been using uh, for reference purposes. Now, we're going to move on to the master engagement setup. And here, you can set up engagement types here. Now, these aren't detailed descriptions of the engagements. It's a broad master type. And then you can, at the time you're assigning engagements to individual clients, you can do a more detailed description. But you can see the examples that I have set up here. And you can, again, you can print a master setup list, an engagement setup list here. There's also some engagement reporting that allows you to run uh, reports on existing engagements that you've assigned to clients and time that's associated with those engagements and so on. But that covers the work code setup.